Well, hello. How are you today? I think we want to design a little something cool today. What do you think? Let's see what we can make. So first off, to make this little trick, we are going to need some text. So I, what I want to do first is change this to white so we can see what we need to do. Let's get our text here. I want to use this one here. So let's ungroup it. I just want the big, the big ones. So we're going to delete that and delete that one. And then we're going to turn this into hello. Hello. And then what we're going to do is take this and then put this as good. Bye. Oh, buy like somebody's buying something. Not buy like buy. Oops. I think I might want to go shopping. <laughs> Okay, so the, you want to do your text first for one reason. You need to make your slider the right size. So to make your slider, what you're going to need is you're going to go over here and you're going to take a square. So we're going to get a square here. And then we want to make sure our square. Let's see. Come on, let me get my square. All right, let's go. Let's do our new layers tool. All right, I want to take my square down here. Come on, give me my square. And I want to make sure that my square will cover my word completely. So let's give it a little bit more room. And it covers it top to bottom. And we know that's smaller. So we're, we ain't going to worry about that one. It definitely covers that one. So the next thing we're going to need. We'll go over here. Is you're going to need a triangle. And this triangle is coming up gray. So we want it the same color black. And what we're going to do with that triangle if it's going to let me move it. Come on, baby. Oh, well, you don't want to limit. We, the new layers love the layers. Come on, babies. And then what we're going to do is take that triangle and make our angle. So the third thing you're going to need is a pretty little line. So let's go up here. We're going to get a line. We are going to thicken it up a little bit. And we're going to change the color. So let's do a pretty blue. I want to do a pretty blue. So let's turn it this way. Get the point going. Come on, point. Point here. Point here. And now we have our slider. So what I want to do now. Oops. Sorry about that. Now what I want to do is I want to group this together. I don't want my goodbye in there. We want to group it and make sure our slider is grouped together, which it is not. So let's go back, move my goodbye out the way, group that together, and now we got a whole solid group here. Or we don't. Come, come on, Canva, give me my group. I want my whole group together. Oh, let me get that down a little bit. Arrow key, arrow key, arrow key, three arrow keys, and it got me in my spot that I wanted to. Group. Are we together now? Yes. So, Next step, we want to turn this into white or whatever color you want it to be. So we're going to, for, for sakes of this tutorial, we are going to turn these white and they're going to disappear for a minute. And then we're going to turn our background black and they will appear again. So what I want to do is line this up where I want it. All right, center. We want hello centered. We want goodbye centered. And we want to make sure this, we're going to position to make sure here. And we want to make sure that this is in the front. So it's in the front. So you can see, disappear, 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 disappear. All right, so what I want to do now is I want to animate this. So what I found when you have grouped items, the way to animate this, the best way is click on it or go on to position, then click on this and then do it. Sometimes if you just click on the element itself, the highlighted one is the only one that's gonna move. And I don't know if that's glitchy or it's not supposed to. So your best bet is to go into position, into your layers, click here for your group, then go to animate and then the whole thing will go. I found that to be useful little tip there. I don't know if that's glitchy, so what I want to do is press that, hit the shift key, and I'm going to go 
forward, disappear, and then I'm going to come back. Now, you don't have to use a line. You can actually use maybe a star or something like that that's solid on the front and, and mix it up and make it cool. And then you can adjust the speed however you fast you want it to go. Faster, slower. Let's speed it up a little bit and go. All right, so now that we've done that, so here's the next part you want to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to group my text together. I'm going to just do my text. I'm going to group that together, and then I'm going to show the timing on it. So I'm going to get my timing up on here. So I want my hello to be the first. And my goodbye to come on the back side of the swipe. So let's see where we are. Hello. Goodbye. Hello. Goodbye. So the hello is a little bit too long. So what we do is back that off a little bit. See if we got it lined up. Hello. Goodbye. The hello is still too long. Knock it down a little bit. Hello. Goodbye. Still too much hello. So knock that down. And so once you get your timing straight, hello, goodbye. And if you want to add some animations or something to it, I don't know if that will help, but that is the gist. Um, if you can make it even more spectacular, I would love to see it. If you have a link to make it kind of like better than that. I feel like the goodbye needs to come in a little bit sooner. There we go. There we go. That's what we need right there. And that's how we do it. And that's just a quick little tutorial. Um, if, if you think you wanted to line it up a little bit there, the animation's not going to change if you wanted to bump this down a little bit more. Um, kind of make it lined up a little bit more. But like I said, you could probably take that this piece right here and put a star or anything in the front of it, um, and it would and make it kind of something cool and make it your own. But that's just that animation right there, and it's real quick, real easy, and kind of fun and cool. I want to thank you guys yeah. for stopping by. Here's some other things that I have created and have tutorials for on my page. If you would like to learn these tricks. Please stop by and thank you again for coming to my page. Thank you and watching my tutorial. Bye.